Hello, and welcome to another episode of Movie Spoiler Alerts. Today we're talking about the 2005 fantasy adventure film, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the fourth Harry Potter film. So let's get started. The spoiler does require in part they've seen the previous films. If you'd like to see a spoiler for them, please check out the link in the cards above. The film starts with Harry attending the Quidditch World Cup, and after the game, Death Eaters, agents of Lord Voldemort, begin attacking and terrorizing the spectators, and summon the Dark Mark into the sky, the symbol for Lord Voldemort. Now in Harry's fourth year at Hogwarts, Dumbledore introduces the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, Mad-Eye Moody, a former Auror or a hunter of Dark Wizards. Dumbledore announces that the school will host the Triwizard Tournament, a tournament between three schools which their top students will face three deadly challenges. The other schools arrive, and those wishing to compete place their names into the Goblet of Fire, which one wizard from each school will be chosen to compete. Cedric Diggory is chosen from Hogwarts. Victor Crumb, a famous Quidditch player, is to represent Durstran Institute, and Fleur de la Cleur from the BX Bombs Academy of Magic. Then the goblet unexpectedly produces a fourth name, Harry Potter. Only three wizards are supposed to compete, and Harry is far too young to even enter into the dangerous tournament, but he is forced to, as it is explained by the ministry official Barty Crouch Sr., due to a magical contract. For the first part of the tournament, they must retrieve a golden egg guarded by a dragon. Harry is able to do so using his broom. The egg contains information about the second challenge, but is a difficult puzzle to solve. But Harry gets help from Cedric. Later on, at the school's Yule Ball dance, Harry's crush, Cho Chang, attends with Cedric, and Hermione is asked by Victor Crumb, which makes Ron very jealous. The second task involves going into the school's lake to rescue friends that are at the bottom, being guarded by merpeople. Harry places third, but because he helped save Fleur's sister, they put him in second place behind Cedric. Afterwards, Harry finds the corpse of Barty Crouch Sr., the Ministry official. In Dumbledore's office, Harry discovers a pensive, a bowl which contains Dumbledore's memories. In it, Harry witnesses the trial of Igor Karkaroff, the headmaster of Durmstrang, who confesses to the names of several Death Eaters after Voldemort's fall. Severus Snape is named, but Dumbledore defends him, also, Barty Crouch Jr. is named, which left his father, Barty Crouch Sr., devastated. Harry has also been having mysterious dreams about Voldemort and some other man, which he is convinced is Barty Crouch Jr. During the final task, the champions must enter a hedge maze and reach the Triwizard Cup. Victor, who is under the mind-controlling Imperious Curse, incapacitates Fleur. Harry saves Cedric from Victor's attacks and they claim a draw, both grabbing the cup at the same time, which turns out to actually be a port key, which transports them to a graveyard. There, they are met by Peter Pettigrew and Voldemort. Pettigrew kills Cedric, then uses a ritual to restore Voldemort to his full power. Voldemort then summons all of the Death Eaters, and they challenge Harry to a duel. Harry and Voldemort cast spells at the same time, which causes Voldemort's wand to show impressions of the people he murdered, including Harry's parents and Cedric, this distracts Voldemort, and Harry grabs Cedric's body and uses the port key to escape. Once back at Hogwarts, Harry tells Dumbledore that Voldemort is responsible for Cedric's death. Mad-Eye Moody takes Harry back to his office to interrogate him on what happened, but Moody slips up by asking him if there was others at the graveyard, when Harry had yet to reveal that he was at the graveyard at all. Moody then reveals that he is actually the one who put Harry's name into the Goblet of Fire, killed Barty Crouch Sr., and has been manipulating the tournament this whole time to ensure that Harry would end up at the graveyard, so his blood could be used for the ritual to bring back Voldemort, so that Voldemort could kill Harry. Moody tries to kill Harry, but Harry is saved by Dumbledore, Snape, and McGonagall. The teachers force Moody to drink a truth-telling potion, and it is revealed that he is not actually Moody, but instead, Barty Crouch Jr. using a polyjuice potion to disguise himself. Crouch Jr. had escaped Azkaban and is sent back. The real Moody was locked in a trunk this whole time and is released. Dumbledore reveals to the school that Voldemort killed Cedric, but the Ministry of Magic is opposed to the revelation and denies it. The school bids farewell to one another, and Dumbledore reminds Harry that he is not alone in this struggle. So that was the spoilers for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. If you have another film you'd like to see me spoil, please let me know in the comments below. Check out Movie Spoiler Alerts on the various forms of social media, and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.